Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese. Will, we've waited a long time, and this day has finally come. That's right. After months of preparation by the NNL staff and our great uh, commentators for the NNL Pro Series, I am so excited to see the grip gauntlets that these competitors have, have arranged for us. They're going to be awesome, and our competitors have been putting in a lot of hard work, and we have some of the best ninjas in the country ready to compete for your entertainment. So here's how it's going to work. Each athlete has submitted a two-minute grip gauntlet, and it will be up to you to determine who moves on based on creativity, variety of obstacles, difficulty, and wow factor. Yes, that's right. And remember, this is not... A popularity contest. This is simply based on what you think was the better grip gauntlet. You are the judge and jury for this competition. And remember, after you watch this video, the link to vote will be in our community tab page, and there'll be a link in the description down below so you can go vote. Well, we are kicking things off with a bang here in the pro tournament. It is our defending champion versus the leader in the clubhouse, Tiana Weberly versus Addie Herman. Let's meet the athletes. Tiana Weberly capped off an incredible season five in which she won three competitions and never finished off the podium by becoming the 2020 NNL World Champion. Not only that, but she showed her all around prowess by winning the climb the ladder skill and finishing first in skills overall. In fact, Tiana also finished third at the 2018 NNL World Championship. Sweet T is always a force to be reckoned with when she takes the course. Addie Herman may be this season's breakout star. After finishing second in the team female division at the 2020 NNL World Championship, she graduated to the Elite Division, where she's won an unthinkable 16 competitions so far, and has finished in the top three in every one of her 20 competitions. Unsurprisingly, she leads both points and power rankings in the elite female division thus far in season six. Will, this is not to discount Addie's experience at all, but this is really a battle of youth and experience. That's right. Tiana has been doing this for many years now, and like you mentioned, she is the current National Ninja League world champion for the women, and it's going to be interesting to see if Addie can overcome the champ. Yeah, I mean, Addie has been on fire this season, so I cannot wait to see what these two are going to put up. So let's get right to it. Addie is the lower seed, so we'll start with her. Hi, I'm Addie Herman, and this is the first round for the pro tournament. Addie Herman at Vitality Obstacle Fitness, a great gym up in the Boston area. Going to start off with some ring swing, and she has a lot of interesting stuff set up. Already some diagonal fly wheels. Oh, looks like she's got herself a small audience cheering her on. All matched up, of course. <laughs> and I love to see this, the wingdings. The as best seen... short worlds last year. Exactly, <laughs> as seen in National Ninja League Season 5 World Championship. Stage 2. Looks like we've got a trio of wingdings to make her through, all at different Ooh. angles, too. So that makes it even tougher. Yeah, I already I'm liking the amount of laches we're seeing. They're all very tricky. I'm hoping that she's going to do some grip stuff a little bit later. Well, we got ourselves a little bit of a flying uh, handlebars here. Let's yeah, see. I think, I think those are called the bunny ears. At least that's what they're there called. you go. go her the her fans are absolutely going <laughs> wild for her, showing their support. I love this. Uh, what has she got under there? I can't tell. I think. <laughs> okay, she was just oh. using that to redirect. Okay, that was fair. Might have been. Looks like she's uh, gonna do a uh, ring hop right here. She's got to straighten it out, and this is a far toss. But she's got a good lache, and she's got it. Ooh, that was perfect. Perfect, perfect aim. Come on, a little bit of side to side. She's got to try to straighten herself out. And I think she's heading back to the wingding. Nice catch. Where will she go now? About 30 seconds left. I think that's True backer coaching around, on, and we're going to see True later in the tournament. Yeah, nice. On to the spinny wheel. Those are so yeah. tricky if you've ever done those because it just eats her momentum. Now just some lache bars. 
Got to try to finish it up, hopefully. How much does she have left? Oh, uh, this is close. Oh, there it there is. We go. Oh, she's exhausted. I am exhausted just watching it. As we come back into the commentary booth, good grief. She did a lot with her two Ooh. minutes. Yeah, she she fought for those grips. Uh, a lot of laches, a lot of moves there. Different types of laches, too. Different types of grips for the laches. So it was a, definitely a variety of jumps there. It was uh, That was impressive. I like that. I think if I had to give one constructive criticism, it seemed to be all kind of the same movement. So while there were a lot of different obstacles, there weren't necessarily a variety in that sense. Like there weren't any like tough, grippy things, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Um, I would say probably uh, the wing dings or um, the uh, the handlebars uh, were probably the two toughest uh, grips that she did. So a tough act to follow, but the door is open. Let's see how our defending champion Tiana Weberly does in her grip gauntlet. Hi, my name is Tiana Weberly, and this is my first round of the NNL Pro Tournament. Okay. Tiana at Movement Lab LA. Off with a uh, very nice jump into a trapezoid grip. And she's got Ooh. this sideways board there as well. Already some tough grips. And that was, a un to... that was an unstable bridge too. Exactly, yeah. Looks like she's headed for a flywheel next. Indeed. Already a lot of different grips. Yeah, variety is very important in this competition. Absolutely. I feel like. You're at about 30 seconds. Already looks like, yeah, it looks like it's just her and her cameraman in the gym. Probably Arnold, if I had to guess. Yeah, it sounded like him. On to the cannonballs. Uh, looks like she went down and back up. Now where will she go? Head for the pegs. Uh, maybe the salmon ladder next? Ooh, that'd Is be she... an interesting. I think she's going to try diagonally for that oh. cannonball. Come on, come on, catch that cannonball. There nice we go. Recovery. One minute. Nice recovery. About a minute in now. So she's headed for that like infinite rumbling dice. Now Very on the nice. new side of the gym, I think. I think this is yeah. new. This is new to me. Looks like, uh, is that a battering ram of some type? It's a battering ram with a cannonball Can on it. Yeah. Very nice. Very about nice. a minute 30. I guess the only way she can come back is the cliffhanger. Let's see what she does. Shaking it out, make sure. And indeed, it's going to be the cliffhanger. Come on. There we go. What a way to end it. That's a good way. Twenty more seconds. After on. already hanging and oh. she's going underneath. I can't tell what that is. I think that's just going. boards. How much? But still. Keep going. Keep going. We got a few more seconds. That's hard to grip onto. On. How much further can she get in the last few seconds? That is very impressive. Oh, she's running out of gas and time, and I think that is it. Wow. A great effort by Tiana there, showing off that muscle and grip strength of hers. I, I really like that. I like that a lot. That is that is going to be quite the challenge for Addy, I would say. Absolutely. And while Addy had a lot more like technical moves, this was essentially what I was asking out of Addy, was some more, you know, static grip elements which tiana had a lot of yeah a big variety of grips too and i think there are two people who have a lot to say about both those runs i like where you're headed why don't you take it away to lucio batista and henry ferrarin all right henry so we're going to start things off with addy's run what were your takeaways sir so Addie, super impressive athlete. I mean, she's dominating in the NNL right now, super young, a battle versus uh, youth versus experience. Uh, the thing I was impressed most with in Addie's run was the change of direction. So um, it's kind of new school ninja is, uh, is being able to build swing in different directions. And to me, that was really impressive. Um, obviously, finishing t the two minutes is also really impressive, but um, not too much change of grip. Um, she didn't really display her, her fingertip strength that much. Um, the wing dings were awesome, uh, but again, the change of direction to me was really impressive. 
All right. Uh, Lucio, off camera, you, you mentioned something about Addy's run to us. Uh, would you like to tell the audience what you noticed? Yeah, we happened to notice that during her run, somewhere towards like middle toward the end, it uh, looked like she went to go grab what seemed to be peg graspers that were upside down from Devil Steps. Um, and she assessed the grip and then looked like she didn't like it, tried it again. Um, and then decided to pull back and then change direction. So it looked somewhat like maybe she didn't feel comfortable going for that that level of difficulty in that stage of the game and then just diverted to another obstacle. So, I mean, smart from a game plan perspective not to fall, but it makes me wonder maybe it was too difficult and she was erring on the side of caution. All right, moving on to Tiana. We're going to start with Lucio this time. Uh, very different uh, philosophy in terms of course design and grips that she went for what were your main takeaways from tiana's run i really enjoyed tiana's run um it was well thought out it seemed like she went first with more dynamic throwing movements which i think is really smart uh when you're more taxed like those catches can be a little bit more difficult um and then she went towards at the end going to more static grip movements um showing off two different completely styles of grip she had a lot of all around different types of grips using cannonballs, different types of edges and ledges. Um, so it was really, really good to see that much diversity in the run um, and just really gritting it out and pushing through the whole thing. I mean, it was strong performance from Tiana for sure. Uh, yep. Um, Henry, is, is there anything for the next round, if she were to make it through, that you would like to see Tiana change in her uh, philosophy of the grip gauntlet? I mean... I really, I mean, again, going for two minutes straight is, is, is really tough. And, and these two are elite athletes. Um, Tiana had a great grip gauntlet all around. Uh, I would have liked to see her gut through that cliffhanger. Um, obviously, she's gassed out after a minute 15. Um, the thing that impressed me the most, though, with Tiana, which um, it's like really impressive. And, and to me, it's that youth first experience. When you miss a cannonball, and it starts swinging back and forth away from you, and she stayed calm and caught it on the second swing during that grip gauntlet. Really impressive. All right. So, uh, final question for both of you. Really, really quick answers. Who do you think won this competition? Henry, you first. Ooh, it's close. Um, again, battle youth versus, versus experience. Uh, Tiana had that awesome save, staying calm. Addy, the whole beginning of Addy's run, it was the change of direction moves are really impressive to me. Um, but again, I, I have to go with Tiana's overall overall run. It, uh, it had a little bit more diversity in, in different grips, um, but really close call. All right. Thank you. Uh, Lucio, same question. I'm actually going to go against what Henry's saying, and I'm going with that here. Um, I really feel like Henry mentioned it. I love the change of direction. It's really difficult to do. And um, putting it in there as a, you know, opening act was awesome. Um, so I'm, I'm sticking to Addy on this one. I think, I think she'll pull through. All right. Well, thank you both of you for your analysis. And remember everyone who is watching, it is up to you to decide who was going to move on to the semifinals of the NNL Pro Tournament. As you can see, our experts, they're split. It could go to either one. Remember, you are not voting based on popularity. You would think voting based on who you think gave the better grip gauntlet and the better performance on their grip gauntlet. I tell you what, I don't envy you guys. This is going to be a tough decision between two excellent athletes and two excellent grip gauntlets. And if you thought we started off with a bang on the women's side... We're going to start off with the bang on the men's side in a couple days with Nolan LaJoy versus Caleb Bergstrom. We hope you'll join us then. Thank you for watching the NL Pro Tour.